He has risen. Happy Easter, everybody. I've got a special message for you. It'll be quick. Please watch at the end because it is something I would love to share with you. It's one of the few regrets I have in this life. And it will make me feel better to get it out there. And I would appreciate each and every one of you forgiving me for it. First things first, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's number one. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Number two, I want to dedicate this fight to all the people who've been hurt by Marxist ideologies. There are millions of you, and I know it. And uh, it's just a fight. I know it's not much, but I want you to know that I love you, and I understand the pain. I don't completely understand, but I love you, and I, I understand your pain. Um, before I even talk about the fight, two things. One, I want to dedicate this fight to my friend uh, who recently passed away at the Waterman. He was an inspiration to us. And two, I'm going to call somebody out. Robert Whitaker, you're a legend, mate. If I ever become a father, and I hope it's soon, I want to be a dad like you. As the belt is on the line tonight. That's a great question. But here's, the thing is, I don't have the answer for this. But I will tell you one thing. I'm not a beggar. I've done everything I, that I need to do. You said fight in here. Whoever you put in front of me, I fought whoever. Here's what I will tell you. My crown will come from my Lord and Savior. Oh, God bless I don't you, care Mr. if I have to Darius. win another 10 fights before I get this belt. I'll do it. I need to dedicate this fight. My people in Iran, I know you're struggling. I know you're fighting for freedom. I know it's a tough struggle. I want you guys to know we're praying for you and we love you. Let me tell you one more thing. This might be the most important thing you'll ever hear. There is true freedom, a freedom that no one can take from you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Don't ever forget that. If you remember one thing I say, remember that. That is Benil Dariush. He has changed my opinion on something. I'm an old dog and it may be hard for me to change my opinion, but he did it. Um, I've always been very eager to speak about Jesus, very eager to live a life I feel guided by him. I, I speak about him often in my private life when I'm around people, when, I'm, when I have the ability to share some, some love and some, some support and some knowledge about my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I try to do that personally. What I have never done is win a fight, I get on that microphone and say, God, I love you. Thank you. And for me personally, it was, I've heard so many fighters do it. I've heard so many fighters do it that it can just go in one ear and out the other and you can, you can lose track of what is actually being said. And so I said, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to guide people my way personally to Jesus Christ. But when, especially the last video there of Benil, it, it was said in such a way that I immediately, I mean, it was, it was instant. I mean, I'm tearing up right now. It was instant that I regretted all the opportunities I've had in my life to say Jesus Christ is number one. And, and it, and I wasted those. I wasted those opportunities. Uh, never again. I will continue. I will continue being a, a as closely tied to Jesus Christ in my personal life as I can. But the next time I get that victory, the next time that microphone is handed to me, I, I will unapologetically try and make one person feel the way Benil made me feel. Uh, that, he changed my mind on that. I, I will... I, I will never again let an opportunity to, to share Jesus' word to, to the masses. I, I may do it more or less like he does. I don't know. I'm going to see what happens when you get that microphone. Your brain just kind of gets fuzzy and you do everything you can. But that um, he, he lifted my heart, he, he, especially in that last video, especially in that last one. He was, he was in an area of the world that may not have taken taken kindly to what he said and he still risked it um he did everything he could to, to save to save some people that day and that, that is an opportunity i have wasted too many times and i will not do it again so benil if you're watching this thank you for opening my eyes to a different way of being i i truly deep down appreciate it if those of you at home ever get the opportunity to speak to the masses please don't waste it like i did um I, I pledge to you, it's really the video is I pledge to you, I will not waste it. Thank you, Benil, for, for changing my, my heart and my, my mind uh, on the topic. Um, 
forever in your debt for that. And I, I will make it up to, to you and I'll make it up to all of you. I, I will not waste the opportunity. He has risen. God bless you all. Have a happy Easter.